been a long time coming. It's been a few days since I post. But the thing is, there is news, and of course, this is the channel, guys. This is the channel that you come to to subscribe so that you can be better notified and better informed when it comes to investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency. Without further ado, let's get jumping right into it after you have smashed the like button and that you have subscribed so that you can stay updated. Moving to this tweet right here. Speaking of adoption, while Bitcoin has been getting a lot of press recently, it is still far from mainstream, guys. 55 out of 100 Americans own stocks, but 14 out of 100 own crypto, but just 1.3 humans on earth own Bitcoin. And yet humans have 10 billion mobile phones for 7 billion people. So guess what, guys? You are still early. Once we hit that early adopters phase and get out of that early majority is what's going to really drive the price up. And, we, you know, we're going to see pretty much the end of this curve where we're going to have Bitcoin that are going to be so far into the moon. So guys, just stay tuned, stay patient. It's not about timing the market, but it's more about the time in the market. So having said that, let's have a look at some other crazy news coming up. So right now we are not seeing as much volatility as we once used to see. And that's visible in these Bollinger Bands that we're seeing right now. See how the Bollinger Bands actually getting skinny? Boom, right there, there it is guys. And once the volatility drops, that Bitcoin actually can act a bit of a ticking time bomb at the moment. So basically, we are going to see some sort of explosion that's going to happen out of this, this calm before the storm, if you like. Uh, and look, even in this sort of the bearish markets that we've seen, we have seen some volatility, but that volatility has really, really squeezed out. And look, we saw that here. We saw that here as well. So guys, seriously, just stay in the market. And that's the best way you're going to see some positive gains on your cryptocurrency portfolio. Look at this, guys. Bitcoin miners who are smart, right? They're accumulating for over a month right now. And you know what? They're not stupid, man. They're not stupid. They just got to keep accumulating so that they can enjoy the gains that they're going to see on Bitcoin. And look, speaking of people who are hoarding on Bitcoin, are the rich people right now. Address is holding over 100,000 Bitcoins, not hundred thousand dollars worth of bitcoins which is barely what three bitcoins and a bit more a bit less i should rather but really address is holding over one hundred thousand bitcoin hits 27 months high more than in the last two and a half years we are seeing addresses that hold over bitcoins at its all-time high what does that say about the market the rich people are getting in and what are you gonna do right let me ask you a freaking question right now are you gonna be one of those poor people who are just basically gonna trade on emotions and you don't do enough research you're gonna follow the rich people and how they behave how do you think they got rich in the first place anyway so guys something to be said about this right here so look there's a big peak in the amount of addresses that are holding 100k plus number of bitcoins so really really interesting to see that i don't know what else is a more bullish line than this so guys get your head out of your ass see where the market is moving and do the right thing guys not to mention we are seeing further interest from the real really smart and institutional level guys fidelity digital is one of the most reputable companies that manage a digital assets in namely the cryptocurrency and look they've just expanded their stuff by 70 percent because of the strong crypto demand so they just added about 100 workers in technology and operations now i don't know about you guys would you be increasing a team in an area where nobody really has any demand i mean these guys make money off of getting more and more investors into their program so that they can manage more money so they can pay more commission this is what they're doing and they just added 100 more staff to their team why do you think they're doing that because they're expecting more investors to come into the market and where do they see the greatest interest is ethereum so we want to be ahead of the demand said mr jessup guys these guys are not stupid people they've seen the demand and based on the demand they're moving their services so as cryptocurrency and decentralized finance gain more mainstream as we know we're all fans of decentralized finance decentralized finance is all based on ethereum so decentralized finance does better. Well, guess what? Money has been pouring into the space of fund startups and new ways of conducting traditional financial and new ways of conducting traditional financial transactions. Guys, if DeFi does really well, then Ethereum is going to simply follow. And you know what? Fidelity is jumping into that trend and they are loving it. They are training their stuff. They're hiring people up. They're equipping themselves so they can service larger groups of clientele. And that's going to obviously reflect out onto the market. And that's going to mean gains for their clients who are going to have exposure into the cryptocurrency world. Another institution, Bank of America, established a cryptocurrency research team. These offices are going to be crypto heavy, guys. That's what's happening. Cryptocurrencies and digital assets constitute one of the fastest growing emerging technology ecosystem. We are uniquely positioned to provide thought leadership due to our strong industry research analysis, market leading global payments platform, and our blockchain expertise, guys. When big boys jump in, you watch, you listen, and maybe you make the similar moves, guys. Not to mention Capital Group, division buys 12% stake in Bitcoin, heavy micro strategy. Only BlackRock, which again, is one of the largest, one of the most reputable financial firms that manage 
a lot of money, has a bigger stake in MicroStrategy than Capital Group. And that's a big chunk, guys. And therefore, bigger indirect exposure to Bitcoin than Capital International investors, guys. So that's a really, really exciting thing. So how big is this company? A 2.2 trillion asset manager has bought a stake in MicroStrategy. Capital International investors, a division of Los Angeles-based Capital Group, is not a small company. Why? Because $2.2 trillion is not a small amount of money, guys. The global cryptocurrency market cap is $1.37 trillion, and they manage a lot more than all the money that has ever been invested into the cryptocurrency world. I'm not just talking Bitcoin here, I'm talking all the money that's invested into every single coin that I am scrolling through all right now, guys. So clearly, it is not a small deal. Looking over to our Asian friends, obviously, South Korean bank, fourth largest rollout crypto custody services, URI Financial Group has reportedly agreed to set up a zero asset custody joint venture with blockchain-based solutions power coin plug. Now, South Korea is definitely not a small country when it comes to cryptocurrency. I am from South Korea, so I stay very updated with the South Korean news. And guess what, guys? A lot of the cryptocurrency technology there is very advanced. There's a lot of miners there as well. And they have just recently partnered with blockchain company Coinblock to create a digital asset custody joint venture. Now, these are the top ranking banks within South Korea. We got Kungmin Bank, we got Shinan Bank, we got Hana Bank, we got Uri Bank, we got Industrial Bank Korea, Nongya Bank. Very, very close to each other. One, two, three, four, five, six. But they're very, very big big banks and you know what in november 2020 kumin the country's largest financial institution launched its custody service following the footsteps of nongya bank which established a similar entity earlier the same year another local bank shinan launched cryptocurrency custody services early this year landing first customers in may and guys korea is a big big crypto market a lot of people are getting involved i think there's something in my blood that makes me love cryptocurrency as well so the fact that fourth largest bank actually rolled out into crypto custody services is a big deal guys institutionals are not cooling down on crypto or bitcoin at all guys grayscale's digital large cap fund is now an sec reporting company grayscale will seek to get the same designation for its litecoin ethereum classic and bitcoin cash funds the fact that grayscale is now reporting to sec is actually a big deal because once there is regulation people think oh regulation is such a bad thing but no we need regulation because once regulation comes in it stabilizes the asset that's when the institutional is going to come in and that's where we're going to see that mass adoption and we have that market share boom out to that 100%. And ladies and gentlemen, seriously, this is a very exciting time to be alive because we are seeing these things happen that, you know, we want regulation. There we have it, guys. SEC is now going to have its final ruling. And once it does, then we're going to see more and more institutionals going to come in. And these institutionals, as you know, do not manage small amounts of money. $2.2 trillion is not a joke because that far outweighs the market cap of the cryptocurrency as a whole, guys. So really, really exciting time to be alive right now. Of course, if you haven't done so, make sure you go subscribe, make sure you go like, make sure you go ring that notification bell, go follow all of my socials as well. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys and make sure you show some love in the comments down below. Seriously, thank you so much for those scammers who are making so many comments for me. It makes me feel like I'm not making videos to nobody, but really, thank you so much for doing that. It's really unappreciated. You guys can really, really stop that as soon as possible. That'd be great. Uh, but if you have something really wholesome to say, if you want to give me some constructive criticism, I'd really welcome it. So make sure you go nuts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. I love you guys. I'll speak to you very soon. Peace out.